Okay, hi. Um, so uh, on to romantic shoots. Um, the first thing to discuss with a romantic shoot is consent issues. Uh, know the rating of your shoot. Is it PG-13? Is it a little bit more than that? If it's a little bit racy, um, make sure everyone's the right age. And um, okay, regardless of ratings, you need to discuss with your, your cosplay partner um, what's okay and what's not. Is kissing okay? Is it okay? Is there any place you can't touch? How close can you physically get to each other? And uh, also be aware that even if you haven't discussed it before, if someone gets uncomfortable, you need to stop and work around that issue. Um, there's no point in forcing anyone because um, uh, it, it really comes out in the photos how comfortable you are in the shoot as well. Um, okay, next. Okay, right. Um, okay, so you don't need specific plans for a romantic shoot yet, but it's good to have a certain theme in mind. Um, what series are you doing the romantic shoot from? Is it quite light romance, uh, romantic comedy? Is it quite dark, tragic? Um, each of those will need different types of light. Like I said, like uh, Glenn was talking about, the harsh lighting for the really dark stuff and quite soft for like, you know, romantic comedy, high school, whatever. Um, yeah. Uh, even if you um, even if you have you want have ideas that are quite different from what your fandom has, that's okay. But yeah, just it's it's good to have a certain theme so you can have something to work with before. Okay, and um, some of cosplays will have storylines. Uh, if you have a storyline, just kind of have to map out a little bit what kind of shots you want for the storyline. And always print and uh, print out and or save any of your photo reference photos in in your phone. Uh, it's good to have references on hand because your photographer may not know the series. Um, it'll help them with the directions as well, because otherwise it gets really problematic. Um, and uh, if it's if um, the poses are quite. Difficult, again, you need to practice. With romances, it's a lot different than other ones because it's all about your facial expressions. Um, you need to like practice in front of a mirror a little bit if you're not used to acting. And um, just kind of like, if, you, if the anime photos or something just doesn't have enough detail, you can get actor photos with the same kind of facial expression. And just kind of imitate, look at their eyebrows, look at their lips, like how their eyes are, something like that. And, uh, okay, so here are some basic, uh, basic poses. You know, you have the food, you have the lying on the bed of roses, facing each other from the opposite sides, uh, you know, the lap. <laughs> back to back is good. Um, uh, sometimes uh, with this photo, as you can see, um, you can't see their fa the faces. It just kind of have a silhouette shot. That, that gives a really nice different feel, especially if you're not allowed to kiss your partner. You can also do that. You know, <laughs> you can just, yeah, just like, yeah. Okay, so um, I, I like this photo right here. Um, this is like the back, um, like the back, was it? The behind the scenes shot of what this photo looks like, will look like. So you got the camera on the tree because he needs a high angle. You got two people holding her hair to flip it because you don't have enough wind. You got the guy doing the flash in the back because you need backlighting. Um, actually, you probably know also need a third person to hold her skirt and another, a, another person to kind of uh, throw the rose petals. That's kind of how it works. You kind of need a lot of people, random people, to just like help you with the shot. Um, okay, height issues comes up in romance a lot. Uh, you often have, you know, the lead semi or male character who's like way taller. Okay, um, again, you can use like really high heel boots, which I have, um, or you can just bend. I don't recommend bending like this because uh, it your, your back's kind of looks like you're bending. When you're bending for a height shot, um, do like this because your back will be straight and it'll look like you're just short. Basically, uh, next. Again, um, okay, kissing, issues of kissing. Um, you're not always allowed to kiss the person you're cosplaying with. It's best if you can get, there's, two, there's several things you can do. You can use an angle, like, um, to kind of like, look, make it look like you're kissing. 
Yeah, uh, OK. So basically, you can just do like this. Like, just get your face closed, and then just get from a different angle where you can't see the lips. And, uh, or you can just have, like, have a really cool, like, have a fan over you or, like, have your hands. Oh, um, on the height issue, I, was, I forgot to talk about, um, you can just use, like, um, the distance if you don't have shoes. Like, the tall person can be in the front, and then, like, you have the short person in the back. You can kind of look, can, can kind of fake the height with using distance as well. Okay. Um, again, this happens, giggling. People will giggle when you do a romantic shoot, when you're just like, hey, baby. And, every, and then someone's going, oh my god, you are such a dork. And then it's just like, giggle loop for like an hour. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's no way around that. You just have to like stop the shoot, just finish giggling, and then go back to it. <laughs> yeah, there's really no way around it. Yeah, action shoots. Any shoot will have giggling, I'm sure. OK, so I'm just going to talk about different shots and angles. So romantic shoot, it's all about the feel, you know? So um, you don't always need like a big shot that gets everything. Sometimes it's best to just get the face with the facial expression. Sometimes you don't even need the face, um, like the full face. You just get the action, like the hand, hand holding each other, touching, like, yeah, just like little bits and pieces, it'll have um, a, much, a much nicer feel. It'll be more emotional. Um, for wider shots in a romance, it's best if you have a, a backdrop that fits perfectly with, your, um, with whatever you're cosplaying, because um, it'll have a nice feel to it. Yeah. And uh, another suggestion uh, after that. Um, Sometimes you will have, uh, when you have two people in a photo, it's really difficult to center on one person. So what you can do is, if you have like, like, uh, like this, shots like this, it's really hard to get shots from here. So you get the photographer to go from, okay, can you come here? So, so um, the shots may be like this. So you can get the photographer to, sh to shoot from this angle to get this person's expression, and then uh, another photo the, and then the photographer can come around and get another shot here to get the other person's facial expression, and you can just put the photos next to each other so you can get both the feel of both characters because it's really hard to get both like in one shot. Yeah. Okay. Um, but again, if you're a good photographer, he's in focus, he's not. Um, that's something you have to look up called depth of field. <laughs> yep. Okay. Uh, yeah, um, I'm done with the romance. Um, thank you very much. Um, we're doing action shots next with Glenn. I'm going to sit this one out.